Yeah, this is your boy Blake Symphony in the very first Corner Store TV. It's a very special Corner Store because I just had the pleasure of being entertained by the one and only Lupe Fiasco. We're about to interview him right now, so stay tuned. All right, yeah, like I promised, Grammy-nominated rapper Lupe Fiasco in the very first Corner Store TV, I might add. Lupe, man, I got a couple questions for you. Grammy-nominated Grammy rapper, how does that feel? Very first album, dude. Dope. 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 Dude, I was sitting at home right over there watching the Grammys, dude. And don't get me wrong, I love the winner, but I was I was I, I was looping, I, I, I was I was voting for the food and liquor, dude. How you feel about that loss? That was cool, you know. Cool. I actually can't really too mad. Yeah, it was good. It was good. That's cool. Well, I noticed that you've done a lot of remixes of popular songs already, like the N.E.R.D. Mm -hmm. with um, And She Gets the Girl, and He Gets the Girl, mm -hmm. the Maybe, uh, Muhammad Walks, you know, Jesus Walks, mm -hmm. and also um, you're on the Buddy remix. I noticed you real personal with your songs, man. What, so do you like hear the songs and figure, hey, that's dope, but it's something I could, I could add to that? Or what's your mentality when you go in the studio and be like, hmm, I'm going to flip a little remix for this? Oh, sometimes I just be want to take the record in another direction that I think I hear on the record after it's completed. Yeah. Like, yo, you could have you could have talked about this already. Right. You know? And so that's what I do. That's that's me having fun. <laughs> you know? That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, man, I gotta ask you. We gotta get into a couple fun questions and a couple serious ones. Then I go ahead and let you go. I know you're busy. Mm -hmm. Fun questions. Lupe's top three shoe brands. What does Lupe wear? If Lupe was stuck on the island, it's like, listen, we're gonna give you three brands of shoes to choose from. But that's all you get. Mm -hmm. What is Lupe gonna have on his feet, man? Um, check the footwork right quick, Kayla. Probably Chuck Taylors, <laughs> some Chucks, or like some um, what's a real comfortable shoe? Like there's a there's a shoe brand called Visdom out of Japan. Um, and there's another Japanese brand called Ubik. Okay. Which makes some really comfortable shoes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, now the serious questions, man. Real turbulent time in America. I noticed you did American Terror. It's one of my favorite songs personally on the song on the album that is, as a young Muslim man in America, have there been any discriminatory events that has happened in your life or people that's kind of looked at you crazy because, you know, what, you're Because I'm Muslim? Um, not really because I'm Muslim. Um, more racial things than yeah. that I've experienced firsthand. Right. But not really because I'm Muslim. Cause you wouldn't know if I'm Muslim unless I told you. Right. You know, because I don't wear it on my, I don't have a mad beard and a kufi on. Right. So, I don't wear it on my sleeve, so I don't get really get approached like that. Okay. Um, it only happens when I put myself in that environment, you know? Yeah. But even when I'm in that environment, I don't see nothing off that. Like, I've seen it happen to other people, yeah. you know? But me personally, I haven't really experienced any discrimination on that front. Except for the, the just the systematic discrimination that's in there. But other than that, not, not really directly. Fun question. Mega Man or Astro Boy? Astro Boy. Nah, Mega Man. <laughs> Okay. Mega Man can change. They don't call him Mega Man in Japan either. They call him something else. Call him yeah. something else. Yeah, I forgot what they call him. Something. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Serious question. Where do you? Well, semi-serious question. What do you think? What? What? If, when I says hip hop is dead, this is like cliche question, but it's always an interesting one. How did? What's your feelings on the whole hip hop is dead? Like. Stand, standing, like the whole opinion on that. What do you think? What, what do you think of that? I know Nas is one of your favorites. I know you was a big influence with you growing up with mm -hmm. the firm. You named yourself after the firm song or whatever. So when Nas says hip hop is dead, how do you feel about that? Yeah, but he turned around and he be like, "Yo, Lupe is my favorite rapper." Like, <laughs> so it works that's, for you that's then, what huh? he said. So yeah. it's like, I, you know, for me, for his, what his his meaning behind it yeah. was to get people talking, which is what he did, which is what he accomplished, right. to get people talking about hip hop and that's what happened and that was his purpose from the door because he just did a concert the whole concert was hip hop is dead he had some caskets on stage all type of wild stuff then at the end of the concert the last song he's like yo hip hop is alive that's you know up. so it's like what was what was the real point of him actually saying that that's what's up what was it like working with Kanye man Kanye West I was dope me and him worked together for a long time before yeah. when, I, when I had my deal with Arista but what it's saying it's just like working with a homie and for real same thing. Same thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't get too starstruck or nothing like that. That's cool. But Jay Z, what was it like working with him? Because I know he was a big influence for you. Work, I mean, me and Jay, homies, we cool. We respect each other on a lot of different levels, That's from rappers up. to businessmen to other levels. That's what's so. up. I was so happy to see that he was on the song on there, man. I was like, yeah, crazy. Yeah. The beat is crazy too. Thank you. 
But um, last couple questions, man. I guess I'm gonna be like this in 10 to 15 years. Because 10 to 15 years after Rakim, we have Rakim. 10 to 15 years after KRS, we still got KRS. In 10 to 15 years, what are we gonna be saying about Lupe Fiasco? He didn't lead us astray, hopefully. Because I'm not putting out no more music. About in three hours. That's what's up. All right. That wraps up my very candid and special interview with Mr. Lupe. FNF himself, Lupe, Lupe Fiasco. FNF up all day. Jim and I chose the world coming soon. You heard? Jim and I, you want to holler at the camera right quick, man? Cool. <laughs> chose the world coming soon. Jim and I, FNF up, Lupe Fiasco. The cool coming soon. Hey, hey shout out that first, that single you did, man. That was hot. Uh, uh, we on. Me, Jim and I. This man Lupe Fiasco, Troubles of the World, on the way this year. Be on the lookout for it. Keep it out. Alright. Let me get dressed. I'm Blake Symphony. That was Lupe Fiasco. Boy Gemini. Sure. Thank you so much for watching the very first Corner Store TV. Uh -huh. Symphony 21. I'm done. <laughs>